And I want to ask the Deputy President to spare this country the politics of war and threats and violence. It is a dishonest and old school for Ruto to send his people to insult other leaders, including the President, then pretend to be telling them to stop. You cannot abuse other leaders to gain power, including mothers of this country. You have no business abusing Mamangina because abusing her is abusing all the mothers of this country. Ruto must stop threatening Kenyans with violence and must not believe he has monopoly over violence. Ruto has claimed he is the one who has made Honorable Raila Odinga the Prime Minister. He has made President Uhuru Kenyatta to be the president of this country. I don't know why he's bitter, because we are waiting now to make himself the president in 2022. Lastly, he should stop insulting and intimidating civil servants of this country. Mm. We've seen the other day mm. his people insulting Tobiko. Minister to, uh, C.S. Tobiko. Mm. That is, and we know the people who are insulting the minister are sent by him. Mm. Asimamishe hiyo tabia chafu ambayo ameanza katika nchi yetu ya Kenya ya kutusi serikali ambayo yeye mwenyewe ni deputy president kama anaona ya kwamba ametosheka na hiyo serikali na ameshika vitu zake na imetosha kuwa rais ya Kenya atoke nje aende pambane nje kama vile sisi tuko nje huwezi kukunyia ile sahani ambayo unakulia tunataka kuambia William Ruto ya kwamba sisi tu hatuwezi kubali vitisho hatuwezi kubali E, kuangamiza wa Kenya kwa sababu hiyo ndiyo siasa ambayo anaelewa na hiyo ni siasa ambayo amefanya kwa muda mrefu lakini sasa amefika kikomo na tutakubali aendelee kusumbua wa Kenya kuendelea mbele